Hey everyone, I'm Keychain. Today we have update 6.7.0, and this update has Darklands, new Valkyrie Curiosities, Castle Sprites, and a bunch of optimizations. Now, before we get started, I will be doing a giveaway on this video, and to enter the giveaway, you're going to click the link in the description below. It's going to take you to a website called Geed, where you will be able to enter the giveaway. I will give a secret code in another minute here for entry into the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away $150 worth of Amazon coins to the U.S. Amazon App Store. We're doing two $50 prizes, four $10 prizes, and two $5 prizes. Now also in the description below is a multiple use code to get $500 worth of Amazon coins for $375. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm almost to the 100 or to the you know 1000 subscriber mark and I'm really excited for that and I would really appreciate the help if you're not subscribed yet. So let's get into the content. So the most important thing about this update is that the Darklands event is here and Blood War is gone. So Darklands replaced Blood War, so rest in peace Blood War. But Darklands has the best rewards out of any event in the game so far. Now, when you win, you're going to get 6,000 of these little um, Cursed Essence. And then your point rewards, and look at all these speed ups, but then look at your point rewards. So getting your solo points each tier, as you hit those points, you get that tier of rewards. So for a total of all rewards, winning and maxing out your individual rewards, you're going to get 18,000 of these Cursed Essence. Now let's look at the store. The reward store is fantastic. You get to choose what you want. It's not just giving you stuff, you actually get to choose. And this is something that I've been hoping they would do for a long time and suggesting and it's finally here so look at how cheap stuff is too so if you're getting 18,000 or even if you lose and you're getting 15,000 or you didn't top out and you're only getting you know 10,000 or 8,000 you can still get a crossbow scroll a hat scroll you can get the intensity gears you can get a bunch of training speed ups food you can get artisan materials you know you can get whatever you actually need in the game so this store is fantastic now if you have no idea what darklands is um i have a live gameplay video that i linked above and you can skip through it but this was on the test server and i was just kind of you know going through it and learning about it and trying to figure out the event live so you know, skip through the parts that aren't relevant to you or just, you know, look for what you actually want to see. But uh, that video is above and also posted in the description below. Next piece of this patch, we're going to get into the new curiosities. So the new curiosities are called Valkyrie and the stats are insane. Look at these legendary stats, almost 2,000 for your cavalry distance and infantry, and then 653 for all troop stats. And then you get two curiosities for each category. So if you double that, you're looking at 4,000 stats if you top these out for each category just for maxing out you know, that type. Even down here at the basic level, look at the stats on the basic. 387 for all troop stats, 1160 for each of these it's it's insane like compared to the legendary of this it's still an upgrade but look at the difference from like if you're like me you have some flawless and maybe a rare so look at the difference from flawless to basic you know 360 percent um it's just it's crazy uh, i'm going to be doing a video in a couple of days on the uh honor challenge and opening a bunch of these chests to try and get lucky. So I've been saving up my keys for quite a while, um, buying them when the keys are a dollar, and I'm going to try and get lucky and see if we can't get some of the new curiosities. So the next thing about this update that 
it's probably going to show up in the pirate chest and some other places is this new appearance and it's this spirits function so you get these little fire spirits which i can't unlock yet i don't have them but uh there's going to be different fire spirits that you can that you can get to use that fly around your castle and i'm sure that they'll do different types of spirits that have different designs and things like that so you can customize your castle even farther all right next up on the list king speakers so king speakers have been disabled when you hide king speakers here they won't pop up on your screen anymore because there's too much spam, too much confusion, too much chaos, especially when people are, you know, they're having individual conversations with each other across kingdoms using the King Speaker. So you can actually mute that out, and that's this toggle here. The next piece of this is the Alliance Quick Help. Now, nobody's asking for help right now, but in your settings, you can go to Game Settings, and you can change Alliance Quick Help to be on. And that will make it so that when somebody needs help, it displays right up on your main screen next to the honor challenge flag. So it's it's nice, it'll just pop up there and you can help people without having to go into your castle and find the building and hit the help hand. So that's a nice little, you know, quick upgrade too. Now the next major thing, and this is a major thing, training. And they changed the way that you train and upgrade troops. So before when you upgraded troops, and I don't know if everybody even knew you could upgrade troops before. But let's go to my tier ones, for example. Next to how many I own, there's this little up arrow. When you click that, you could upgrade your troops. And you could go from tier one to tier two. Well, now you have the ability to change that to go all the way up to the highest tier or whatever tier you choose. So these tier 1s are ones I got from the Doctor's Concern for losing a battle. And normally it would be a total pain to upgrade these from tier 1 to tier 2 to tier 3 to tier 4. And then just, it's not worth it, right? Now you can just change that. If I want to take these all the way up to tier 10, I can do that. And it changes it to 19 minutes. Or if I want to go all the way up to tier 11, change that. It takes a day, one day, two hours for me to do 1,900 of these. Now, looking at the resource costs, is it actually worth it? So to do 1895 from tier 1 to tier 11, it's 1.4 million food, 617,000 wood, 125k iron, and 24.6k silver. So let's see what the, what's the cost to just train tier 11s. So if I'm going to do the same number, which was, what is it, 1895? It's a little bit more expensive. Not by much. So it's a little bit more food. The Everything else is the same. So it's a little bit more food. And it looks like two hours faster. So it's a small thing, right? But it is, it is something. So... Upgrading is worth it. will save you a little bit of hours um, and a tiny amount of resources. So the new thing here is the continuous training button. Now the contra continuous training button makes it so that you no longer have to leave the training area. You can train your troops. Let's say I was going to train these and you can speed them up and it automatically claims them. So you can stay inside this window and you can train again. And when you speed them up, there you go. It automatically claims them so that you can just continue to automatically train. Now, you have to make sure that you uncheck the continuous training button if you are, for example, saving up troops for reset to claim your daily quest. If you have continuous training on, if they finish two minutes before reset, it's going to automatically claim the troops and then you're going to have to start over. So, that's it for continuous training. Now, the next thing here, it's there's two more um, updates, and then we're done for this video. The talent menu has changed so that it's a little bit different, and the talents are actually displayed out where you can see 
what they are. And these three in the middle, it shows from my other talent spec, which is nice. Um, so those are the abilities I have and the cooldowns that they're on. Um, and the last thing that they changed is now when you acquire a gem or a crest from um, creation, it goes straight to your inventory rather than or it goes straight to, to use rather than going into your inventory where you have to go in and activate it. So before, let's see if I have any still in here. When you'd win a creation crest, it would go into your inventory like this and you'd have to come in here and use it. And then it goes to where you can actually um, apply it to your creation. But now the emblems are gonna go directly into the inventory or into the use, so you don't have to come into your inventory and use them anymore. Same thing for gems, when you would win them in you know, Honor Challenge or somewhere else, they would go into your inventory and you have to go in there, use them, and then you could go apply them. So you don't have to do that anymore. All right, I think that is it for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And pass that code around. If you know anybody who you know, is a, is a spender and they you know want to save some money and they're in the US you know steer them towards the Amazon App Store um, saving $125 on every 500 is a pretty good deal um, so that's it thank you for watching see you next time